is going on guys? My name is Ramen back again from Moment of Views with another episode reaction to the Rise of the Shield Hero episode 8. This is the Curse Shield. I was really looking forward to this. Uh, I know a lot of people were a little bit upset at uh, me believing that the last episode was filler. I do apologize if I came across that way. Uh, in terms of like, when I'm talking about filler, I, I feel like last episode didn't do a lot, like super, super a lot to come progress the plot. And, and I might be giving off a stigma that I don't like filler, but the there's, I am perfectly fine with filler, um, and just because I think that something is filler doesn't mean that I'm saying it negatively, uh, and especially since I was told that it actually does occur and actually means something in the plot later on, I do apologize for that, but yeah, uh, I also do apologize for being a little bit late, it is uh, currently a, a little bit over 11 o'clock when I'm recording this, I got off work about half an hour ago. I had to go get something to eat, and then I was ready to uh, at least do some recording. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go jump right into this episode because this is Curse Shield. And I've been looking forward to this because I've heard good things about it, and especially about the Curse Shield. So without further ado, let us jump in to episode 8 of The Resident of the Shield here. on starting in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. Is up all night crafting? I wonder what he's crafting though. Pretty sure we'll see it anyway. A bracelet. With a nice gem in it. So he made one for both of Oh, he made something for both of them. Oh. oh man, I have a feeling this is going to be a really good episode. I do admit though, after watching this more and more, I, I did like the intro. Oh, I'm just gonna go block the actual thing just in case. Um, I did like the intro for a while. But then later on, it kind of felt like something that I've seen a lot. Um, like, J-Rock or J-Pop has been used a little bit too much, I feel like, in anime mediums. But although I understand why it is extremely popular. Um, but I was actually having this conversation with one of my coworkers this morning. And we were just talking about... Ugh, mine. Um... Yeah, we were just talking about, like, how we kind of wish that there was, like, three different types of uh, music that would be really cool. Orchestral, or orchestral, would actually be really cool. Another one that I would really like, and that always just works, um, well, although you had to have the right opening, um, in terms of visually, is Funky. Look at Bradio. Bradio is one of my favorite, uh, <laughs> one of my favorite, uh, is part of one of my favorite intros, which is Death Parades, and those are just funky ja Japanese music. And then the next one that I I highly doubt will never like get boring is going to be jazz. Those three I want to see more of in terms of uh, anime openings. I would love to see that. That would be that would be my shit. That's why I think Kaguya Sama is great because it has like a jazzy, funky feel to it. A traveler and his boy. Hmm. Traveler and her boy. That is a... That is a chick, right? Kind of looks like a guy, though. Sounds like a girl. If you look at it, it almost has like a sepia tone. Like, if you look at the, yeah, the, the. Oh, 
Interesting. Very interesting. Just just from looking at the at the uh color palette of this current episode, it's very you can already tell that it's going to be really almost bleak in a sense. And uh, I know uh, some people were telling me last episode, or I was reading la from last episode, um, because of uh, his actual shield, he can actually enhance uh, potions. The potions that he has, he can basically enhance them because of all of the other herbs and uh, plants that he's gathered. I'm guessing that's like a grave. A graveyard grave. That voice actor sounds super familiar. Very familiar. Oh, we're gonna be fighting a dragon? Oh. Never mind. I'm guessing the blood from the dragon? And it was it had a plague. Yeah, makes sense. So they don't plan on actually doing much of anything. I mean, he is... He is the shield hero. I mean, yeah, not wrong with that one. All he cares about that... Yep. Oof. He's still playing the villain. He is still playing the villain. But he... Can, I, like I said... Chimera... Oh. Okay. Look at this, this color palette tone. I love it! I love how Philo is still just... Happy go lucky. <laughs> She's a child. It's okay. I mean, so are you, Raftalia, but. Red eyes, what are we, World of Light? <laughs> Extra points. Look at 
at that made you hungry? Oh, I, I, I applaud you, Fila. There's something inside of it? What kind of bullshit is this? Yeah, that ain't right. Are you... Oh, fucking my internet. Did my internet just die? No. It's a psych hiccup, so I'm going to be slightly off. Is it an undead dragon? Uh oh, Philo. She's she she's gonna is she she gonna get hurt on just me. I know she ain't dead, but what the fuck? And I'm guessing this is how the shield here happened. Oh, uh, the curse. Do you seek power? Do I hate everything? I do hate that you're using numbers. Reminds me of... We all hate her! I don't even know what to say anymore. Oh, I'm getting chills. I got chills right now. Sorry, I'm like I'm and I'm like just like focused. Just boom.
Raftali is going to stop him eventually. Is it going to be now? She's. Did she get hurt doing the? Oh, okay. she, oh you burned her. She stopped. It's not working. Does it make a target unhealable? That's some... But that power, that same power just made you hurt someone. I knew Fiona wasn't dead. Did she literally eat her way from the inside or beat the shit out of him while in there? It's because Philo. I mean, obviously, if you really expected Philo to die this soon, no. If they actually did, I would have been very, very impressed, but I've seen enough anim anime to know where this is going. No, that's not right. And she's gonna be cheerful. Nah, it's another bird. Fucking course it was. I I, I realized that it was. I was slightly, but I knew she, freaking plot convenience. <laughs> you get that plot armor. Black magic. I'm guessing. She ate it. That's Philo for you. What do they do? Burn? Burn the corpse? Hmm. Oh, and also flicked her over the curse. It wasn't, it wasn't the dragon. She's trying, she's saving it.
There's too many waifus this season. There's way too many waifus. I don't like it. And you can't pick more than one. Did she condense the crystal in her stomach? Hmm. Question. Ah. Uh -huh. So there is still level limits. Interesting. They're trying to make him feel better. You still have the gifts. It definitely ended on a good note. You're fucked up! <laughs> now fool me! Bruh, I'm- g give me your man- give me your man card, just- You had the opportunity, but you done fucked up! It was so good up to that point. You ruined it now, Fumi. You had the mood. You had the girl. You had the scene. You had the plot convenience. You had it all. Oh. <laughs> uh, I do apologize for that little hiccup. That like one or two second hiccup in the middle of the uh, video. Hopefully it doesn't detract you. But yeah. Uh... You know, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda did wish that the the cursing was explained a little bit more. I know we're going to get that, don't get me wrong, we're, we're going to get that later on. But, it's like, they tease us with the idea of it, they showed us the premise and like, the basics of it. Like, yes, we knew that y you could start activating it when he's rage and his emotions are out of control. Um, but I just kind of wished that they dived a little bit deeper into it, just a little bit more. I didn't want to know everything at once, because like I said, I know we're going to get more later on. I just wanted to know a little bit more. Like, we, it was enough just like, it would be like giving someone who's really starved of water a tiny little cup, and you're like, here you go, you'll have the rest later. You're like, just a little more, a little more, I just want a little more, that's the only thing. That, my only complaint about this episode, and a fucking... Let's see. Mel Except this is going to be Melty. It's going to be mine. It's going to be that bitch. It's going to be that fucking bitch. Mm, well, 
you're gonna want to see my reaction for next episode because I'm gonna be fucking mad. <laughs> I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna have to make sure my my roommates are not working like they aren't today. Yeah, because to next week I'm gonna be yelling at the screen. I'm gonna be throwing punches in the air, and I'm gonna be calling her a cunt. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of reaction. I do apologize for being late, uh, but hopefully. It was worth it. I don't know what I'm doing. Finger guns, finger guns. I'm going to go head off now. I'm going to go, uh, I don't know. I'm going to see if Kakeguru is out. I highly doubt it. I think it usually comes out, what, Fridays now because of the translator. But eh, it's whatever. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for sure. For sure tomorrow for uh, Promise Everland. I will be getting off super late at work. I get off at 2 in the afternoon. So I'll probably start recording around 2.30. Um, so just a, just a heads up. Uh, so yeah, uh, I, I do a 62. Thankfully, that's one of my latest shifts I've ever done. Sad, sad if you think about it. But yeah, so I will be late on tomorrow's reaction. So I'm probably not gonna be in reaction compilations, but I will for sure have it up. And then of course, go to Bano Hane Yome as per usual. And then if I don't see it today, then Kakegurui tomorrow. And if it's still not up, then Kakegurui on Friday. We'll see what happens. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.